today I'm going to show you the tools inside of Book Creator for Chrome that you can use to make a book on your Chromebook. And so let's get started. The easiest way to get there if you've never been there before is to search for it by its name, Book Creator for Chrome. So here's my search term. And if it looks like this, Book Creator app, Book Creator online, that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now I'm going to click the button to sign in. And you're going to choose your Google account, which is the top one. Sign in with Google. Authorize your account. And you're in. This would be a great time to make a bookmark so that you can go back to it easily. And you do that by clicking the star right here, and that will add a bookmark to your bookmark bar. We're going to start by clicking the New Book button. And we're going to choose a Landscape 4.3 book, which is the largest book that you can choose to make. So it's now developing a blank book for us, and we're right on the cover of our book to begin. So um, Book Creator only has three buttons, which is really nice. This button lets you add something, add an item to your book. This I, this I here, the italicized I or the inspector, lets you change anything that you have added to your book. And then this is a play button, so that'll let you um, read your book and see what it looks like. So we're going to start with the add button. Click that plus button and let's put a shape and some words on our cover. So I'm going to go here to the shapes menu and you can see there are lots of shapes that I can choose from here. I'm going to pick this triangle and put that on my cover. And once I add a shape to the book, I can click on that shape to change it. So I can drag it out from the car from the corners in order to adjust the size of the shape. I can use this to tilt my shape in any direction that I want to tilt it in. Okay, and I can also copy and paste to make additional um, triangles if I want more than one. So I'll use Control Copy to paste, and I'm sorry, Control C to copy, and Control V to paste. And now I have two triangles. Let's change the color of this one. And if you remember, I said when you want to change something on your screen, you go to the eye, and here's where I can change the color. So I'm going to click this button right here, and I can choose any one of these colors, or I can actually create a custom color. So any color is possible here. You just mix the palette and pick a color that you like. I like that one, so I'll click Apply. And now I changed the color of my shape. Let's add some text to the cover of the book. Plus sign, text tool. Um, you will note that if this might help you, you can use talk to text if you want to add a large amount of text and it will um, record your voice and turn it into type text. I'm just going to type my name in here and say done. And it kind of plumps my name right here on the page. I can pick it up and move it, but I really want to make it look bigger and better because it's the title of my book. So I'm going to go to the eye and make some changes. This bar lets you, as you can see as I'm sliding it, makes my name smaller and larger. I think I like it about that size. I can make it bold or italicized or underlined. I can change the font, and who doesn't like to play with fonts? I'll go with this one. Okay, I like those serif fonts. That means they have little feet. And I can change the color of my font. I'm going to pick this color. All right, great. So now on the cover of my book, I have a title and I have an image. I'm going to turn the page and we'll work on a clean page to show some more tools. The next tool is how to get pictures into your book. So that is the import button that lets you search for images. When you click the import button, you will see that a traditional Google search box opens up that you can search for images in. 
You also have this, don't miss out on this, if you want to include a map in your book, and since your book's going to be about a country, you might want to include a map. Here is a way to search right in Google Maps to find a map of the country. I'm going to go back to the image tab and let's search for an image. I'm going to search for a dog. Okay, and click search. And it's going to find a lot of adorable Welsh corgis that I could pick. Um, a little trick I want to show you right now is if I don't want all of those backgrounds, you see all, all the corgis are like standing on grass and stuff. I just want the corgi. So I'm going to add the word transparent in front of my search term and search. And now I have some Welsh corgis that have a transparent background. So I'm going to pick this guy right here and drop him into my book. And there he is. Now notice I can click on him and I can resize him if I want to, but you see how the background is white, so it's gonna blend into whatever, um, whatever I have in my book here. And maybe we could put the corgi in a window. So I'm gonna spend just another second going and for searching for another image. Go to import. Go to window. I'm going to type the word window. And there is my window. I'm going to select it. And there it is. And now, um, so I have two images here and the dog's actually behind the, um, the second image. So if I want to change the order of my images, like right now I can't pick up my dog, I can only move the window. So I can change the order of the images by going to that eye. And at the bottom there, you have move back to front. So I can just move that image to the front. And now I'm able to pick up the Welsh Corgi and kind of make it look like he's picking out the window. All right, new page for a new tool. The next tool on the list is the camera tool. And let's see what happens when I click the camera tool. It's going to open up so I can take a picture of me here or look at this. I can also record a video. So if you want to include a video in your book, this is a way to do that. I'm going to take my picture. There we go. I don't look too happy, but we'll just go with that for now. Use the picture and it's going to plunk that picture right down on the page. And again, don't forget, you can click on it to change the size of the picture. All right, new page. And by the way, once you add pages to your book, you can manage all the pages under this button right here. Here's all the pages that I've made so far. And I can even pick those up and drag them around and put them in a different order. But let's go back to the book and continue editing. Okay, and now we are going to use the drawing tool. So I'm going to click on the pen to get the drawing tool to open. If you've got a touchscreen Chromebook, you are going to just love this feature. So I have all of these different pen choices, a marker, a paintbrush, a crayon or a chalk. That is good if you want to make texture. And there's a chisel tip marker. And then there's even auto draw, which uses artificial intelligence in order to help you draw. So let's do a little demo here. It's going to change the color of my brush and I'm going to pick a brush. I think I'll pick this paintbrush and I might make it a little bit bigger and then I can just start to draw. Okay and then I can change the tool also like I can use this thick tip marker now. You can see that's a, just a stiffer line and I can change the size and I can use the chisel marker. All right so let's I'm going to use the undo button to get rid of that because I want to show you what auto draw does. Um, at the top here, of course, an eraser, a fill bucket that you can fill in shapes with, and oh, don't forget the emojis, all the emojis you can stand up there. All right, so let's play a little bit more with auto draw. Click on auto draw, 
and it's basically telling me to start drawing. And as I'm going to draw, it's going to guess what I'm trying to draw. So as soon as I get a few lines on my page, it's making some guesses. You can see it thinks I might be drawing a banana or a leg, um, all these up here at the top. But I'm going to continue to use my finger and draw. And we'll see if it can figure out that what I'm really drawing is a slice of pizza. And there it is. So now when I click on the pizza slice, I have a perfectly drawn slice of pizza, which I can resize. And then if I close out the um, auto draw, I can go back with my paint bucket and do some filling. So this is kind of a weird color for pizza, but we're going with it. It's uh, it's the 80s, pink and pink and green. All right, so there's auto fill and auto draw. So when I click done, it's going to stick that drawing onto the page of my book as soon as it's done saving it. And again, don't forget, once it's on the page, you can still resize it, you can turn it. So you can make a really um, intricate uh, amount of objects onto your book. And then the last feature I wanna show you how to use is the record feature. And this lets you add your voice to the book. So I'm gonna click record. It's going to um, bring up a button here that I can start recording. Three, two, one. And it's going to be recording anything that I say during this time. I'll stop. I can play it to see if I like what it sounds like. And it's going to be recording anything that I say during this time. And if I like the recording, I'll click use it. And what happens is, is it drops this little icon onto my page. So when someone's reading my book, they can click that icon and hear my voice reading my book. All right, that was a super fast tour of all the tools. I hope you get to play with all those tools and try them all out.